Okay, let's look at some different locks and chokes that you can do with your sticks. One of the first uh, locks you can do is what we call a thumb lock. And as your opponent comes in with a, a roundhouse or an overhead club attack, you're going to come in and you're going to go past the stick. In other words, you're just going to go one, two. You're going to check the stick, get the stick, check it. Then your hands are going to come back over like so. Left grabs, right grabs, and they go straight down. Okay, again. You come in and check the stick. Now you could have easily have checked the hand if you were in tight enough. But usually you're out with this one with this stick. Here, come over right on top of that thumb. It's a very weak joint. And then from here, just roll the stick and take them down. Another thing you can do is locks. So another type of lock is through the throat. So as he comes in, we come around, but this time we come up underneath and we wrap this here. Now we got an arm lock here. And we got the throw here, so we can throw him, we can do whatever we want. He's going what we want, wherever we want him to go. And then, again, that's just by coming in underneath the arm. So as they do the roundhouse or overhead, just one, come up underneath. Or you can just bypass that and come up here, depending on where you're at. You got the lock here, and you got the throat strike there. Okay, another thing, a lock you can do is, they're gonna, just like I showed you before, if it's a cross arm wrist grab, you just pin the hand, bring the butt up over. This is what we call a bent elbow lock or a Z-lock. And then you go straight down, like so. Okay, again, so as they grab, we pin up, over, right there, and down. Okay. A choke we can do is, just go ahead and sit down, <clears throat> is you can place the, either the stick behind the neck like so and help use it as a brace that way or I sometimes prefer actually putting the stick across the throat and using it this way. Okay, so any number of the chokes you do, all you have to do is wherever your hand would go, for example, if the hand is like this, you would just put the stick there in its place and then you would just wrap around it and grab and you got the choke. Okay, so any, just keep in mind when you're doing these, any uh, choke or lock that you can do, you can pretty much do the same thing with the stick. You just got to adapt it slightly. And that's how you would do some chokes, some chokes and locks with the stick. Now continue on through the video, we'll give you an example of, of a bunch of Kempo techniques with the sticks that you can learn as well.